Whatever happened to one of the more so smooth and prolific hoopers in all of high school basketball that got overshadowed by one of the most hyped up players in the last decade. But despite all that, he just kept improving his game year by year and always found a way to show up big when it always counted the most. This is a player who's never let anybody speed him up as he's always played at his own pace. This is the Emmanuel Maldonado story. Born on July 18, 2002, in Orlando, Florida, Emmanuel Maldonado was a pretty solid baseball player and didn't start playing basketball until the seventh grade. And pretty quickly, he would start to develop his game, like when he played AAU for Showtime Hoops, the same program that NBA lottery pick Nazir Little and high school standout Ronaldo Sagu played for. On the basketball court, he started to gain a little bit of recognition. In 2018, as he attended Colonial High School in Florida, as a freshman, he was able to put up averages of 11 points, 3 rebounds, and 2 assists to go along with 2 steals a contest. On the court, everything came so easy to him, and it easily became clear on how well-rounded of a player he was. The moves he displayed at his grade were moves that a lot of kids his age just weren't doing. And honestly, he just showed a lot of potential. But after playing pickup ball with the Newmans, he made the decision to transfer for his sophomore season to Downey High School in Orlando, Florida, joining forces with internet sensation Julian Newman. Now, while all the attention was on Newman, the Maldonado buzz slowly started to creep up especially like when he carried his team dropping 30 points against Aspire Academy which featured players like LaMelo Ball, Isaiah Jackson, and Rocket Watts. There despite Emmanuel's team getting blown out quite frankly he still had his way on offense leading all scores and even though Emmanuel was Julian's sidekick as he contributed 33 points a contest Maldonado's 15 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 4 steals, and 2 blocks per game game were good enough for quite a few people to notice that Emmanuel was hands down the best player on his squad and throughout that season he showed time and time again his elite shot making abilities and his role as a primary and secondary playmaker and just like that by the end of his sophomore season by now he had already racked up a division one offer from Bethune Cookman University as a junior he and Julian decided to transfer to Prodigy Prep. Although he was continuing to make strides, he was still quite underrated, overshadowed by his star teammate. The game just continued to come very easy to him. He became more comfortable with the ball in his hands, but at the same time was super under control. His floor production would start drawing interest from collegiate programs like Georgia Tech, Iowa State, and Murray State. For his senior campaign, he transferred to a whole nother school by the name of Dynasty Academy. There, his continued emergence did allow him to gain the recognition that he deserved. And once he finished off his senior year in June of 2021, he made the ultimate decision to secure the bag and sign a six-figure one-year deal for Overtime Elite in Atlanta. During the 2021-22 season, throughout eight games, he put up eight points, two rebounds, and a 36 field goal percentage while shooting 55% from behind the three-point line. But as it got closer towards the end of the season, he improved and upped his numbers while suiting up for Team Elite. Emmanuel was able to maintain averages of 12 points per 36 minutes while shooting 45% from the field, 37% from three, and 78% from the free throw line. His playmaking ability allowed him to dish out four assists per 36 minutes to go along with snagging five rebounds and three steals a contest while going on experiencing winning the championship. He would go on to make history, becoming the first overtime elite player to get drafted into another league as he was drafted 11th overall by the Granado de Mets in Puerto Rico. But fast forward till today where he's currently playing in Hawaii for Santorce. Emmanuel Maldonado without a doubt came a long way and has always played the game with tremendous amounts of confidence at every single step of his journey and always had it in him to compete at a very high level no matter who he faced up against. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Emmanuel Maldonado story.